Hello, everybody, and a good evening to you all. My name is Cameron. It has been a very tiring day, but that is okay, because I have decided to cope with the tiredness, not by going to sleep, like a normal person, but uh, by playing a video game, specifically something that I find rather relaxing. And that relaxing is Slime Rancher. I'm gonna make a new game here. I didn't realize I had a game, to be perfectly honest. I didn't remember. Adventure, save icon, what else have we got down here? Maybe I'll wake up as the stream goes on. Oh. In the voice of all my four, it is I, Astra Rockin' here. Oh my goodness, hello Astra, how are you? You know, actually my fiance's not asleep yet, so what? I could I could totally try the, let's see. All Might said, I am here. For it is I, Astrorog here. Love it. Good to, good to see ya. Good to see ya. Let's just start this up. I don't know what all those settings were, so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go for it. I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna go right for it. That just seems to be that kind. It's that kind of night. It's a, it's a, let's just jump right into it because, I don't know. 1,000 light years away from Earth on a planet known as the Far Far Range, Beatrix LeBeau begins her first day as a slime rancher. I must be Beatrix, and I will get moving. Okay, I have moved. This is lovely. I have played this game before. I know it's incredibly cute. I got rather far in it, like, years ago. And haven't played it since then. But a pal of mine decided to go on. I saw that, and I was like, you know what? I think it's, I think it's time. I think it's high time to get back to it. Glad to hear that you're getting yourself some sustenance, though. I, for one, did not have a lot of sustenance today. Today, Not in the morning. But uh, I met up with a buddy of mine. We got some sushi. I ate two entire sushi rolls today. And I was a very happy camper. <laughs> and you wish you knew me IRL. Feel like such a crude person to be around. Well, thank you for that. I like to think that I give off a pretty positive vibe. But, like, Anna is a you know, Disney queen down there. Can really vouch. She can vouch for it. She's, she's actually right over there. Because we're like, we're like, we're like together and stuff like that. So she can get tell you all of the nitty gritty details. Oh, things that I wouldn't be able to even fathom. Because like, really, do I even know myself enough to be able to describe it to other people? If somebody were to ask me in a non-professional way, describe yourself. I think I'd only have two words for you. And that's two as in T-O-O. And then much, as an M much, too much, every so often. And hello, Dream Flutist as well. Everybody is popping into this. Oh my goodness, I feel, oh, I feel like there's so many people here. It's so funny too. I was just struggling to try to get this stream on just a moment ago. I don't know exactly what's going on with Twitch right now, but as it turns out, if I attempt to direct, if I attempt to allow OBS to connect directly to any server that it damn well pleases. It's like, all right, Cameron, you're live. And I look over to the Twitch screen and I'm like, it's not there. I've tried this about three or four times, but apparently if I tell it directly, I want to connect to the Virginia servers. It's like, oh yeah, you want to stream? Yeah, no problem. There you go. Happy, happy is that then? I, uh, you know what? I have no control over this. The Twitch overlords do. They have decided to frown upon me today. The Twitch overlords have looked at me and said, small streamer, you don't got it. But you're gonna work for it anyway, aren't you? And I'm just like, yes, I'm gonna work for it. I'm gonna try my best. And damn, I figured it out on the fourth try. And I'm happy with that. <sighs> I wouldn't say today is a very bad day. It was a very, very good day, but I walked around the city a lot i did a lot of walking today my legs were tired i got back i was so full up on sushi that i was like i'm not gonna eat dinner i'm just gonna drink water and pass out and i drank water and i passed out oh i can shoot oh yeah i forgot about that i hope work was okay for everybody who was working specifically dream flutist i hope it was okay has the managerial position proven to be a struggle i imagine it would be Tons of people right now are having problems? Seriously. Interesting. I mean, I didn't- I, I was taking a look at the, uh, the Twitch Twitter. The, the Twitch support Twitter. 
and I couldn't seem to find anything like that. Apparently, people were having problems a couple days ago. Although there was this one third party site that said 122 people are having a terrible time attempting to do their Twitch right now. And then I was like, all right, I happen to be one of them. Omnivorous achievement unlocked. There are achievements in this game now? It has been so long. It has been so long since I played this game. It's, it's wonderful. Oh. <laughs> you hate the managerial position, give it back. I wish, I wish it were that simple. I wish the world were that simple. Why is the star over here? W why are you starring at me? Hi there, yeah, these, these star, these slimes are all stars in their own right. They're beautiful, why? What's the star? Hello to everybody, it is a wonderful evening. Seems that 9 p.m. is a, is prime time it seems what is x to activate there are so many more improvements in this game now i have not had a chance to take a look at any of this it's been too long and there's so many different types of plants now my god look at all those look at all those little cubie things there's so many cubie things the hell is that it's like wiggly woggly i like wiggly woggly greetings to the world this game is indeed super cute, my goodness. I played it like shortly after it came out and then never again. Oh, you know what I should do? I should collect some plorts. I, I'm not I'm not even able to focus on what's going on right now. I'm so tired. I should I should suck up the plort. That's what I should do. I should suck up the plorts. Suck up the plorts. Give my give my plorts. Give me, give me my plorts. I'm gonna go get you food and drive home. Burb. See you real soon. Ha <laughs> ha. And the Wick Mickey Mouse voice or... Okay, so I need to... Oh, I can switch my, switch my tanks like that. I can throw my slimes like that. Little pink guy over there going flying. Goodbye, little pink guy. Go for it. Wait, you want to come back inside? You want to come back inside, little guy? You can come back inside, little guy. And there you go. Let's sell some plorts. When slimes eat, they make plorts. 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 I wonder if they've called them the plort because that's the sound it makes when a when a slime like does the does the thing. It's like, wh how, how does a plort sound? It's not like, bloop, 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 is what I can imagine. I've learned the fundamentals, now time to explore. The best way to become a pro rancher is to experiment. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. I want to go find some tars. Big, big tar guys. The ones that are dangerous. And the big old, big old gumbos. Big old fat ones. The largos. That's what they call them. The largos. I like the Largos. The big, chunky, full of love, I imagine. I don't... I'm not sure if the, uh... I'm not exactly sure if the, the slimes can actually portray to me a measly human. Or am I even human? I don't know. Beatrix? Beatrix, how are you? What are you, Beatrix? But I'm not sure how they experience love between each other. Perhaps the perhaps the slimes show love by ramming themselves into each other, and and perhaps if I had a pet slime, who would be my friend, it would try at every waking moment to remind me that it was my pet by slamming into me continuously. Is how I imagine they would be sharing their love. I may be incorrect about that, but to my knowledge, I don't know any. I don't have any slime-based creatures around me. Slime-based pets. I was actually thinking about the other day, that the other day, I don't know, I wasn't thinking about Slime Rancher, but I was thinking about slimes specifically. And I was like, are there any creatures in the world that are similar to like, like a, a slime from like a video game? And I guess amoebas, molds, algaes are kind of slimy, but not like, not like this kind of slime. Certainly not the big, massive, whatever. And, oh, I need better, ah, I need to raise the walls of it. Or else all my slimes are gonna go everywhere. They're gonna try to escape from me. I won't let you escape. You will find no refuge here. Well, you will find, actually, you will find refuge. There is no escape. There is no escape, but there is always refuge. The pink slimes are allowed to stay around here as long as they darn well, please. And we welcome it. And we welcome more slimes. The tabby slimes. The rock slimes. The slime slimes. Uh, what other slimes do I remember being in this game? The lucky, the lucky cat slime. 
That one's very cute. It's a very cute slime. I like the cute slime. They're all cute slimes. They're all queens. Every one of these slimes are queen. But the pink ones, they're queen right now. They're a good queen now. Thank you, queen. Queen, may I have a plurt? Thank you. Thank you, queen. Nope, can I pl plurt, please? Okay, I've collected queen and plurt. That's fine. I'm okay with that. I have collected queen and plurt. Queen being slime, plurt being, well, plurt. Oh, drop the plurt. Boop. No, please. Oh, there we go. Yes. Got some more of these poma, poma, pomegranates? Pogo fruits. Pogo fruits? They look like pomegranates to me. Wow, what a beautiful planet. What's that over there? It looks so shiny. Perhaps it's foreshadowing. Foreshadowing of what comes next. Anyway, I've given them a lot of food. What is this? Can I click button? Button? Range exchange offline. Range exchange, it rhymes. Oh my god. It's beautiful. Oh, I am so tired. Everything is funny. Everything is funny. And everything is wonderful. Because look at all these slimes. How could it be bad? On the bright side, nothing's really bad right now. I, I can foresee the rest of my week being absolutely wonderful. Because there is no more classwork. Because I have officially graduated. Well, technically, I officially do the graduation on Friday. But I had my commencement today, and that was a long, that was a long ceremony to sit through. But I'm okay with that. <laughs> Hello there. Am I new to Slime Rancher? Or no, I'm not new to Slime Rancher. I played it when I when it first came out. However, I have not played it since then. Like, let let me give a little example. Many of those plorts I don't recognize. I don't know. I don't recognize any of the plorts past this phasey looking one all those other plorts oh and the gold one i know the gold, gold one but all those other ones totally new totally new to that so uh old old head coming back for new experiences and uh and i'm looking forward to it i just kind of decided to play this one on a win today it's been something that i've wanted to play however i just i just i just haven't oh you get fruit you eat fruit phosphor slime eat fruit i need fruit <gasps> where the fruit at where the fruit, where the fruit, where the fruit at? Where's the fruit at? I need to know. Hmm. I can grab some carrots. They're not fruit. They're veg. But I will search for them nonetheless. <gasps> Fruits. Fruit, 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 fruit. So now there's an actual way, as far as you know, to beat the game now that it's been under a few updates. Oh, wonderful. Because to my knowledge before, you would just kind of go around and just explore. And uh, find things to do. I was watching a pal of mine play it the other day. And there was this temple area, which looked pretty freaking awesome. I don't know anything about it. I don't know how to get back there. But you know what? Temples and other forms of stones are cool. Hey, look, a message from the other peoples. Activate. This entire cave system was sealed off from a cave-in when I first discovered it. Maybe that's why the fellas up ahead are so grumpy. Haven't had a bite in a long time. In any case, don't let that long-awaited bite come from your own rump. Excuse me? Bring some food to calm them down. From your own rump. My rump is going to bite me? My rump is going to extend from the back of me, wind its way around, and bite itself? Alright, H. I accept your premise. Let's just assume that that's possible for now. Oh, that looks dangerous. Yeah, let's wait on that. Pretty crystals. I like that. The temple is near the end of the game. It's very cool. I do recall, if, if I'm correct in saying that one plurp that I didn't recognize, the phasey one. Oh, sweet, a map. The map is new. There's a map now. Hey, look at that. There's a map now. The world is so vast and explorable now. Now I don't have to memorize everything. This is wonderful. And what's this over here? What? What is this? Whoa. All right, Slime Rancher, Monami Park. You've intrigued me. You have officially caught my attention. Oh, hello, you lovely beings. Yes, hi there. Yeah, oh, oh dear. Oh, hi there. Oh, y'all are gonna get dangerous. Here, in the meantime, I don't know. Um, Eat. Eat. Eat this. E eat it. Eat it. Eat, please. Wanna do the eat things? Oh, my. Eat this. Hello, cat. Hello, kitty cat. Kitty cat slime. Get it. Eat this. Yum. Delicious. Delicious, delicious. Living beings. Oh, please. No. Okay. Oh, 
Oh my Largo. Largo slimes are large slime hybrids formed when a slime eats a plort unlike its own. Vac them, keep them out of your nozzle, or shoot them to send them flying. <laughs> That's so fun. Oh, hello. Hello, Rockies. Oh god, Rocky Phosphor. Don't touch me, please. Oh, I am in pain. That's okay. You know what? Here, take that pain and use it for something good. Oh, hi there. Oh, bye there. Give me that. Never interacted with this game before, though it was so cool and it's so incredibly cute and I love it. And the trade area can show you areas that would otherwise be inaccessible. The trade area? Ooh. I don't think I have access to that yet. I remember seeing it. Oh, hello, you. Oh, you don't look fun. They don't look fun at all. Hello, buddy. Hey, you wanna, you wanna, no, please, no. Oh, goodness. Yeah, you know what? You're pretty dangerous. Yeah, oh, you're also dangerous. Wow, everybody's dangerous. You wanna eat these? You guys want these? You wanna eat it? No, you wanna, oh, the plort, the plort. Oh, go get out of here. Bye. The tar, those awful ravenous rainbows, like oil slick. New Slimepedia entry. Up is the Slimepedia. Hey, I think that was always there though. Roll all these slimes. There's so many different slimes to discover. Largos, the tar. Their favorite food is ranchers. Well, that isn't spooky at all. The tar form when a largo eats a plort on like its own, produces a terrible transformation occurs that turns the slime into a sludge filled with like a swirling prismatic array of colors and relentless appetite. The tar seek only to consume and replicate. The only way to stop a tar outside of incinerating it. I can incinerate tars? There's fire in this game? <sighs> or throwing in a slime area with fresh water. One splash will stop a tar from spawning new tar and repeated splashes will destroy it entirely. Alternatively, many ranchers recommend running away with their arms waving and screaming. Yes, I remember you can get water in this. But where's my water? Where happened to be my waters today? I do not believe I have access to the waters yet, but I will find that incinerators are very snazzy. Are there actually incinerators? That's so metal. <laughs> Straight up fire. That's incredible. I didn't know that at all. That must be new too. And if it's not new, then man. I am as dense as I know myself to be already. Tabby. Get a little get a little pink in there. A little bit of phosphor. Alright, let's start using this well-deserved cash on something. Pink slimes are cool and all. But wouldn't it be cool to have other slimes? Like this corral. Or perhaps even this... Oh, no. Lo and behold. It's an incinerator. I have found it. And I am almost... I have almost enough to, to get it. Ooh. What am I going to do with water? You know what? I'll build more corrals. I'll, uh, I'll get more slimes. Get more slimes and slimes. Be careful, because slimes other than tar can be harmed by fire. Well, okay. With that in mind, if I make an incinerator, it'll be over there so that it's not near any of my precious little pink queens you are all queens remember that i should also make a farm too but you know first before i even do that let's go get more let's go let's go 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 we'll go get some more hello you i'd like to i'd like to be friends with you but we can't i know you'll just disappear during the day but do you want to find me more fruit oh hello h you have another message that i did not see Hello, Beatrix. The name's Hobson Twilgers, rancher, explorer, and the former owner of this year ranch you can now call your own. He's now Southern because it makes sense to me. Pleased to make your acquaintance. I was a rancher for more years than I can remember and felt there was one last adventure left in me, so I've set off to find just that. But before I go, I'm taking one last tour around here and land I love. So keep your peepers peeled for notes like these if you want to hear what an old coot has to say every now and again. Now I'll be talking to you. H. The H stands for Hobson. I am going to forget that. Oh, look at you popping out of the rock all snazzy-like. Very good. And by harmed, implying death, of course. Slimes don't like fire. They certainly don't like fire the same way I like fire. I like fire because... Fire make burn. And burn things. Burn things are fun. Oh, you're going away. Oh, you disappeared. The tars have disappeared. Very wonderful. Where'd the tars go? Oh, well. Uh, what about... Have I been this way yet? I don't believe I have. Hey, now look at that down there. I'm gonna jump. Is there fall damage in this game? No, it doesn't look like there is. Lovely. This doesn't, this is cute. I like this little bridge over here. Hello, Largo. You'll be, big Largo. Would you like some fruit? I give you fruit. You want fruit? You want fruit? I give you fruit. Actually, I'll wait until I get my farm first. Then I'll give you fruit. Unless, hmm, maybe I will give it to you. Nah, you know what, it's still dark. It's still dark. I want to catch some of those uh, phosphor slimes. Get a couple of phosphor plorts. 
bring it on back, sell it for more money. We're all about profit here, apparently. Profits and slimes. Oftentimes, opting for the slimes in place of the profit, it's a very casual game. I don't have any real goals here. Not tonight. Give me you, give me your hen hen. Give me your hen hen. Give me your plants now. Hello everybody. Eat, yo, wait. Do you like fruit? You like fruit? You like fruit? I got fruit. Here, eat this. Eat this. Eat this. <gasps> oh my goodness. Welcome to the party. Genuine garlic bread. I just noticed your name is Genuine Garlic Bread. Oh my god. I love it. I love genuine garlic bread. I like even non-genuine garlic bread. And by the way, welcome to the party. And at the party, we, ha we, we wear hats. We wear hats that are appropriate for parties. So now that the party has begun, the party can continue. And now we're all wearing our special hats. And our special hats are just that. They're special. They're special because we're special. We're all very special people. What's your reason for being special? My reason for being special is the amount of sushi I ate today. <gasps> Chicken do You are so little and so soft, you'd think you'd filled with marshmallow. That is so cute. Oh my god. And there's another. Oh my god. There's two chickadoos. Hen hens and chickadoos. Oh, bye bye. Okay. Well, enough of you then. Let me get some of these. I don't need carrots. You know, carrots, but just more fruit. More fruit. Give me the fruits. I'd murder for garlic bread. I would. I'd murder for garlic bread. No, no matter how garlic bread is, like if it's if it's too hard, doesn't matter. Still love garlic bread. If it's if it's a little burnt, doesn't matter. Still love garlic bread. Um, if it's if it doesn't have enough garlic on it, that's fine. It's got a little, and it's still garlic bread. I like that. If it's if it doesn't have cheese on it, that's okay. It's still got you know like maybe my obsession with is with garlic specifically and not garlic bread but i really like bread i really like garlic and putting the two together obviously makes sense eat fruit oh what is this rocky plorts no don't do that oh why did you do that you're in for a bad time pal oh you didn't actually eat the plort oh that's fine here um eat that yum yummy yum plort time oh stop that oh stop that you yeah eat those plorts then oh lots of fruit uh lots of fruit and stuff let me go bring these guys back Gotta, gotta, gotta bring these guys back to the farm. Where's the farm at? Did I miss it? No, it is this area. Hmm. Just re realized flutist is an actual word. Twitch is incredibly educational. I learn new things all the time. In fact, I learn the most things when I start playing a new game and people come on in and they're like, Hey, did you know? And I'm like, no, I did not know. Thank you for educating me. And I always love that. I learned a lot of things about Genshin Impact that way. I learned a lot of things about uh, whatever games have I learned a lot about. Kind of some of the Hat in Time, I think, was the stuff that I got a lot of uh, tidbits of information about. I love learning new things. One of my favorite parts about doing this live streaming thing is the fact that, you know, folks will come on if they want to and they just share whatever little bits of knowledge that they have. I, for one... I'm a, I'm a Solomon type person. Knowledge is a wonderful, wonderful thing. Knowledge is like everything in my opinion. So if I can, if I can get even like a little bit of new knowledge to come out of something that I'm doing, then it was totally worth it. Nothing beats the taste of food grown in my own backyard. Garden. Let's, oh, that's not what I needed. Oh, I have the chicken. You know what? Chicken dudes, hang around over there. Y'all cute. You won't go anywhere, right? You won't go anywhere. I built a garden. Shoot a veggie or stuff in there. All right. I can do that. There's a secret area with mustaches. You had me at secret area, but you locked me in with mustaches. Though to get to the mustache, you need the lab treasure crackers. Lab treasure crackers. All right. That sounds just specific enough to be inspiring. Just specific enough to be like, yeah, you know what? That makes sense. But anyway, but any, like, treasure crackers love that crackers in general love crackers tasty crackers you know it's a very nice type of cracker stacy's pita chips and although they call themselves chips they feel like crackers to me and i love them mostly because they are incredibly salty on one side i was actually mentioning this before is is anybody else the type of person who like when you take like a chip doesn't matter what kind of chip it is or a cracker 
whether it be from Chipotle or something from a bag, maybe a Dorito, one side always has more salt on it than the other. And what I will do is I will put the chip in my mouth and sample. Is this side the salty side? If it's not, I will flip it over. Is this side more salty than the first side? And if that's also no, I will go back to the first side. So I will do that flip, flip, flip. Okay, then eat the chip. And I don't know if that's a thing that anybody else does, but I'm all about trying to get the most flavor out of anything that I eat. So that's that's what I wind up doing. <laughs> I can normally go to the area, though to get mustaches themselves, you need the crackers. I'm going to write that down. I'm going to deposit my pogo fruit, and I'm going to write this down so I do not forget. I write things down when I learn things. Must mustache plus cracker equals fun. That's my equation that I'm going to go with. And Astro's back. He's back again. It's Astro Boy. Or Astro Person. Astro Anything. Astro, Astro, Astro. Have you ever heard of chicken in a biscuit? It's a great cracker. I've never heard of chicken in a biscuit. I've got to wonder, too, why you would name your brand chicken in a biscuit when you sell crackers. I assume you have other products. And if you don't, well, I mean, that's your branding problem, I guess, right? Oh my god, they're stacking on top of each other. Oh my god, I sent one flying into the distance, never to return. Just kidding, he's on my house. It's so cute. Ah! Pretty good life hack. I will say that that turning the chip thing round and round. I don't know if it would be considered life hack levels of things, but it works, it works. Call, feel free to call you dude. <laughs> Alright, dude. I'm down with that. I'm also dude. You can call me dude. You can call me dude. You can call me whatever you want to. Whatever rolls off the tongue easiest for you. You're gonna allow dude Yeah, call me dude Anna. Okay, Stinktress. Stinktress? Oh, that's another nickname my fiance has for me. I am the stinker. Or sometimes the stinktress. As in the mistress of the stink. That is not how that works. I'm pretty sure stinktress is a portmanteau of stink and mistress. No, that's therefore, upset that I called you a stinker. Therefore, I am the mistress of the stink. And I don't think anybody... No, you know what? I, I'm I'm sticking with that. Nobody can convince me out of it. That's what it is now. Hello, you. Hello, every plort. Yeah, I'm gonna collect all your plorts, and then uh, I'm gonna put put all your back. There we go. I had a minor emergency of accidentally dumping fried rice all over your lap. Oh my god. Was it was it hot? Was it a painful kind of emergency, or was it kind of like, no? No, I'm sad. I've had moments like those. I one time, actually, the other day, I had I had a pal of mine over, and I was making a little was making a little cocktail for them, and instead of pouring absinthe into my shaker, I poured it all over my phone, which was unfortunate because then my phone it wasn't thank goodness there's not a lot of sugar in absinthe, so it wasn't very sticky, but it was very my phone still kind of smells like licorice. Is that that smell? Yes, that's the smell. I poured it all over my phone and the stove. And I know I cleaned my my phone, and I did not clean the stove. That is a lot. Mm. Let me sell these and my poco fruits. It was it was unfortunate. On the bright side, there was no pain for your rice disaster. Just just a little bit of a mess. I'd be the kind of person to straight up like. Actually, it depends on where that rice. Goes. I was about to say I would get down on the floor and start eating that rice. However, my floor is not very clean. Not right now. So I would not do that in my apartment. I would not. Best part about eating pretty much all day, much about not eating all day, is it's easy to get drunk. I would think. If you're trying to get drunk faster, don't eat anything. If you're trying to if you're just trying to drink things and keep your keep your stamina up, that's where you eat a lot. Lots of pasta. That's my trick. It's pasta. Eat the pasta. Not pink slimes. You go back over there. You've been launched out again. That's wonderful. And it will smell like absinthe for quite a while. It's gonna it's gonna be on there for a, for a bit. You're gonna be sewing all night. Nice. What kind of thing are you sewing right now? Anna and I have been really excited to try to get back into cosplay stuff, and apparently when she goes home uh, for her for her break after finals are over, it's gonna be sewing, sewing all the time. Which I'm totally down with, because I can't wait to start printing pl uh, print printing props, or making it out of foam, or making it out of construction paper, or cardboard. 
I'm sorry, dear. I can't hear you. I have two headphones on. One on one ear and one on the other. What'd you say? What'd you say? You're probably doing EVA foam. I'm doing EVA foam? I'm doing EVA foam. I just need EVA foam. Oh, for my gauntlets. For the gauntlets? Yes. But some parts, I feel like, if I was using a mechanism, if I was building a mechanism, I'd probably print that. Plastic's a little good at moving around. Foam is nice and squishy. You're making your annual polo dress. Nice. What? Dude, that's so fun. Yeah. Which is on Saturday. Polo's on Saturday? Oh my god. Are you going to be able to have a to have the time to sew it all together by Saturday? That's an incredible work ethic you must have there. <gasps> Rock slime. These slimes are totally metal. Get it? That's... Yep. I got it. Oh, you're a rock form. I don't want rock form. Come, come back. Double shifts all week, though. Ay ya. Oh, Mama Calv has just popped a heart in chat. You know what that means. Is she the only one that gets special treatment? Uh, the only person who gets special treatment is my mother, and you want to know why she gets that? She had to experience the terror oh. of childbirth oh. to put me on this earth. Thanks, Mom. Sorry, that's it. It's not going to be a loud one again. T tired boy. Tired lad today. That's the aesthetic we're going for. Tired boy lad. Astra's working on a Deku cosplay? Nice! What's your method for doing his hair? I gotta wonder, because we've we've experienced, we've experimented with like, um, um, like wigs and stuff before. However, it's, it's, it's every once in a while, it's a little hit and miss sometimes. Yeah, I can't see and his his, his hair is like up. it's bombastic. Unless if you're not doing a wig, are you dyeing your hair? Because that is that is full power move, and that is awesome. I don't think I've ever I've never actually dyed my hair before, but I totally would. I totally oh. would if I was into it. <laughs> you'll style wigs for us, Dream Flutist. You'll be here. You'll be here. My people, my people will contact your people, and by my people, I mean that one. I don't have time. Oh, okay. Anna doesn't have time. Okay. Here, my people. Time. My people will reach out to you. Ask about wig stuff. We'll, we'll, we'll get to you. We'll, we'll get the business. The, the business will be reaching out. Yeah. Oh my god. MHA concept. Uh, my Hero Academia. That's what MHA stands for. Ah, ha, ha. I figured it out. I've got it. I've cracked the code. I don't need more pink slides. Get out of here, guys. Bye bye. Go fly. Enjoy yourselves. You are squishing all over the walls, and it is beautiful. Oh my god. Plort physics. Nice love that you know like nothing about cosplay but maybe use like a hair dryer on the wind to make it floof yes that works uh i know uh, i think um let's see you can use like hairspray as well if you want to make it stick Wait, up like nope oh you can't use hairspray you have to use specialty you kind because you can't use hairspray, hairspray. Sticks to the um it sticks to your natural oil so like got to glue is a good one got to glue is the way to go got to be got to got to be got to be good to be it's got to be it's the g the o with the umlaut T, the number two, and UB. Got to QB. Do you have it? I think she's grabbing it, actually. Hmm. Yeah, Dream Flutus here. disagrees with you, by the way. Just, just saying. Just, just, just throwing that out there. there just throwing that out there. Good to, That's the good, to be. Form, good to be. Good to be. It's good like industrial. Good to be. Apparently, this is like industrial strength. Stra spray. Huh, <laughs> words. Industrial strength. Spiking glue. They call it spiking glue. I suppose it depends upon, like, what the material the wig is made out of, whether hairspray will work on it or not. Well, hairspray works on natural oils of the hair. Hairspray works on natural oils of the hair, according to her. I mean, I've used hairspray on, like, prints to make them just glossy looking, so it definitely sticks to certain types of plastic. I don't know. You know what? Maybe we'll have to research that a little bit. There is clearly a bit of a disagreement going on here, and I don't know enough about it to uh, weigh into the conversation. Yeah, you have fun with <laughs> Astra's hair is nice and long and already has that anime look to it. Nice. My hair used to be incredibly long. Much, much longer than it is now. I realized it was a little unbearable for me. I mean, I kept it really, really long because I had this certain pride about me. I needed to, I like, I felt like I needed to keep it long because nobody else had theirs long. And uh, eventually I cut it because one of my theater directors back in high school was just like, you can wear a wig or you can cut your hair to be short. And I was like, you know what? I don't want to wear a wig. I'm going to cut my hair. And everyone was like, oh my God, he's cutting his hair. There's no way. Was he cutting his hair? Oh my God. I'm like, yeah, I did. I, I, I cut it all off and I donated it. So I did it for public good. 
Oh, garlic bread. You were asking if you can mention something unwholesome. I will not censor you. I will not tell you that you can't say things unless they hurt other people or, or they're insensitive to certain types of people. So as long as it's not insensitive to certain types of people, you are more than welcome to go for it. And you know what? Whatever you want, say it anyway. If it's all bad, you'll know. I'll warn you. Not a slap on the wrist warn you, but somebody will, somebody will get it. Somebody will get it. Long hair hierarchy has always been the weirdest thing. It's like... Hierarchy? Like the hierarchy of long hair? I definitely felt like I was up at the top of the hierarchy because of how long my hair was. But you know what? Now I'm at the top of a different hierarchy. I've got those curls. I like those curls. Those curls are my hierarchy now. I'm, I'm down with that. You eat that. So if chickadees are like marshmallows, then do people eat them as a specialty? Well, I mean, veal is a thing. Baby cows, as opposed to the big old beefy cows, so I would imagine so. As as horrible as that may sound, meat is meat is meat is meat. Meat is meat is meat is meat. And I'm a meat eater, so uh, I'd, I'd do it. If somebody, if somebody could make a proper case to me that chickadee, that hen hens, that have not had the chance to experience the glories of life ahead taste better then i might be able to look past my 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 morals and try it besides at that point i'm sure they're not asking me for the purposes of slaughtering one right now i'm sure it's already been slaughtered it's like it's like that um what is the video i'm thinking of i'm thinking of like Oh, pick a lobster or whatever. Pick a lobster and give it a name. Like, oh, I like that one. His name is Reggie. And then you chop it off and it's just dead now. They're like, perfect. That'll be the one you're eating. And you're like, why did you make me get so attached to it? Like, why did you do this? Why did you have me name my lobster and then murder it in front of me? I mean, it's going to taste great. Don't get me wrong. But like, why would you do that to me? That is an emotional strain that I don't think I ever want to experience. But I'm sure it will at some point. Oh, you eat veggies? Oh, you eat veg? Oh, yeah, you eat veg. Nice. Oh, please. No, don't be doing shit like that, my friend. My friend. Please. Chill. Cool. Curly hair hierarchy is a bit more complex when compared to other hierarchies like the long hair. Oh, I know what you mean now. Like, the longer the hair, the longer the hair, the more high you are up. The more, the higher you are up on the ladder. Oh, look at that. We got, uh, we got naughty things over there. Look at y'all over there. Y'all having a great time. Yeah, you suck. But now you're big, pink, and spiky. And that's okay. Y'all like big, pink, and spicy things? Eat it. Eat it up. Your lobster was named Jerry. Was he tasty? Was he a tasty lobster? Oh, hi there. Oh, bye there. Oh, goodness. This is, oh, is becoming a problem. This is becoming a bit of a problem. Okay, then. Also, if you boil it alive, you boil it alive, so I mean... To be fair, I've never actually watched anybody cook lobster in front of me, so... I have never thought about that. What I do remember, though, back before my mother spontaneously became allergic to shellfish... It's happened sometime after my younger brother was born. But I remember we would have... Uh, apparently, the, the Italians do a five... Like a fish-type Christmas deal or whatever christmas meal and we would have lobsters as one of the fruits and we uh, fruits oh my god we would have lobster and we'd actually buy the lobsters live lobsters lobsters and my brothers and i would play with the lobsters while they had their rubber band clip things and whatnot and then we'd eat them at the time i never connected the two dots together i was like ha fun lobster and then ha eat fun lobster i never i never put the two together Garlic bread always gets so sad. You were like eight years old, parents had you name them, and then you were gonna keep, thought you were gonna keep them as pets, and then afterwards watching in absolute horror as they put them in the pots, and the lobster was just like, no, 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 no. Actually, I don't know what a lobster sounds like screaming. However, I do know what a sea lion sounds like screaming, and a sea lion screaming sounds like a grown man screaming. And now you know this. We do education around here. And if you ever thought that you needed more sea lions in your life, after you've experienced that, you will know for sure that you need more sea lions in your life. Hey, you want to eat this? Can we eat that? Can we eat that? Eat that. Can we eat that? You want to eat that? You want to eat this pogo fruit? Eat this pogo fruit. Eat the pogo fruit. Please eat the pogo fruit. 
Poke fruit? Po yes. Consume it. No, not you. That's not for you. No, get it. No, 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 stop. Thank you for your patronage. Pink slime. But the pogo fruit will be missed. Lobsters do be like that. Very fruit. Well, I mean... Riddle me this for a moment, right? If a fruit... Is a plant... That grows with the seeds... I think... I don't know what distinguishes a fruit. If a lobster ate... A seed... Would they also be fruit? What if you spiced your lobster with mustard seed? Now there is seed on lobster, therefore lobster is now fruit? Right? Maybe? My mind is attempting to make connections to things that should never be connected together. However, we are, we are trying our best here. It's dark out. I need to go get more of those phosphor plorts. Oh my god. Foxes sound like women screaming. This sound like- and peacocks sound like children screaming. That's a scary thing to hear in the middle of the woods. And that's why the sea lion is my spirit animal. It's great. It's great. It's extremely unsettling. Back at my parents' house, we, every once in a while, supposedly there's a zoo, and supposedly the zoo had a peacock, and then the peacock escaped, and then the peacock went into the forest and made itself a family. So every once in a while, you, sa you hear the sound of what seems to be children in the woods screaming bloody murder and you're like oh my god what is that and it is oh it is only either ever a fox or a peacock i want to believe it's the peacock because that is much more fun to say and it's fun to tell people that there's a peacock in my woods as opposed to fox there's always foxes everywhere foxes are lovely lovely creatures however I've never actually seen it so i wouldn't know however there's also coyotes in my woods too and perhaps for a moment the coyotes sound like that too. But I imagine they're more of like a like a like a howl. However, I've never had the pleasure. Technically, men have sperm cells, which is also seed. So are men also fruit? But but like if you were to call a man a fruit loop or a fruit snack or something like that, that has a different connotation beyond that, despite how fruity you may be. But also too, but I mean, is that considered the seed or is the egg in the female considered? This? Are, are we all fruits? Are we all fruits? I think we are all fruits. I think we are all fruits here. Fun fact, because education and all, totally warranted. Tomatoes are both fruits and vegetables. Some odd examples of fruits are beans and cucumbers. Cucumbers are also fruits. Beans are also fruits. Are hmm? beans legumes? I think some beans may be legumes. Avocados are fruits. Stone fruits. I got the big seed in the middle. Where are my phosphors? Where are my phosphor slimes? I'm out here looking for phosphors. There were a ton of them the other night. I do not see any phosphors right now. I must keep going. Peppers are technically fruit too. I understand the whole peppers being fruit thing. Because if you've ever bitten into like a bell pepper, it tastes pretty damn fruity to me. Also, if I may add, bell peppers. A very interesting but relevant drink, a, a relevant ingredient in cocktails. You mush up a little pepper in there, gives it a very nice vegetal sweet flavor it's wonderful actually tabby cats i love tabby cat you know what all y'all gonna have fun all y'all gonna have fun i'm gonna throw this fruit at you and you're gonna just go for it Ugh. let me snake we are all snacks y'all we're all snacks we're all snacks in a special way whether we are no what are you doing oh because i sent the plorts out and the plorts when they eat the plorts it's unfortunate no stop get out of here no you know what there you go get out of here I want my plorts. Give me my- No, please. Okay. I want to take you. Everyone is going to die. Oh, give me that. Give me that plort. Yep. Give me, give me, give me. Give, give me the plort. Rock slime, get out of here. Give me the plorts. Give me, give me the plorts. Oh, these cat slimes are just absolutely adorable. Oh, get out of here. Give me the plorts. Give me the plorts. I want to give me the plorts. All right. I've experienced a lot of plorts or plortage over here. Oh, yeah. You know what? I've experienced enough plortage for the evening. You're going to bed, dear? Sounds good. I like that idea. These cat slimes are just adorable. What I did actually for um uh for Christmas time, there is a buddy of mine, Lycos Lore, wonderful guy. His sister, I believe, is totally into this game. And so I made I got like some slime from the store, and I cut out a little little coin, a little U coin, as well as a little cat ears and a cute little face, and I put it on the slime barrel. 
And it was a little, it was like a li little lucky tabby cat slime thing. It was very cute. I love it. I was very, I loved making it too. It was probably one of my, one of the things that I spent the most effort making for Christmas. That and I also made an ornament for uh, my fiance as well out of wood. It looked like Mickey Mouse. It looks terrifying, but it's mine. And I am proud of that. <laughs> Tabbies in general are like very, very cute. Be like wet food. Wet bird tabbies. Tabby tabby cats. I love cats too. Very cat. Push me to the edge. All my friends are dead. Because all the, all the tars and the slimes, they're all, they're all dead. Hey there, pal. What are you doing over here? You having a good time? You doing all right? That's good. That's very good. I'm happy about that. I'm happy that you're having a good time. I'm happy we're all having a good time. Plus the slimes. Where'd you go, buddy? I'm happy you're having a good time, but... Population density and all. Have fun. I loved you. Goodbye. Will you live? The answer is no. This was for science. It was for science. Can't tell if those song lyrics or a tragedy. Song lyrics. Push me to the edge. All my friends are dead. Push me to the edge. All my friends are dead. I don't know what the name of the song is. Maybe it's All My Friends Are Dead. I wouldn't really know. I don't listen to that type of music very often. I want to, though. Just need recommendations so I can know where to look. Give me that port. Love that. Your brother just got two new kittens, and they're adorable. Nice. I'd like to get some kittens, but... No, no, no. I'd have to pay extra for it here at my apartment. That and Anna's not a really big fan of cats. We like doggos though, and one day I will have a doggo. My mission is to get that doggo. Good to hear though, and the notion of song lyrics, especially ones talking about and reminding us all of our mortality, or sometimes the lack thereof in the case of immortality. All of our friends are mostly alive. And that is a wonderful, wonderful thing. I like it when my friends are alive. Though for all the friends who are dead, well, life is tough right now, so resting is a good thing. Resting is a good thing. I haven't experienced loss in recent years. There hasn't been a lot of loss that I've experienced. I remember it being really tough for me when I was a lot younger. I lost, um, it was, it was many, many years ago, but I really, I went through a really hard time when I lost my uh, great grandfather. But since then, I really haven't lost, I mean, thank goodness, but I really haven't lost anybody that close to me in recent years, which is wonderful, and I feel incredible. Don't jinx, you know what? Yeah, you know what? That's a good idea. Let's stop talking about that. Let's not, let's not jinx that. That's a good idea. We're, we're, where's got wood? There's wood attached to, there we go. There's, there we go. There we go. You caught me there. You caught me there. Thank you for that. My mind almost went on a very morbid tangent. And sometimes, sometimes they are warranted. And other times they're just like, nah. We're playing a game about cute gelatinous slimes. Let's just worry about the wonderful things. Like living, in some cases. And yes, I believe Queen Elizabeth is probably immortal. I'm sure, I don't know how she does it, but I guarantee it has to do with sucking the blood of young, young people, maybe. Or maybe old people, perhaps. I don't know how she does it, but it definitely has to do, it's blood magic. It's definitely blood magic. <laughs> and on the topic of lost, losing Hot Wheels cars. What did I lose the other day? I definitely lost something recently. It wasn't a Hot Wheels cars, but it was something along those lines. Hmm. Oh, yes, the notice of the, um, on that note of the colors of the chat. I have no idea why it does that. Yeah, this is really interesting, too. So, from my angle, as of now, garlic bread is universally light green. Dream Flutist is orange over here. Like a dark blue over here, but then also shows up orange on the screen. And I don't exactly know how that'd be. I think there's a setting, some, setting somewhere in Twitch to like give, like set what your color is. I'm pretty sure I appear blue like everywhere. It's very interesting. Oh, hi there, Thora West. 
help me out here and I'll make sure you get what's owed. That sounds incredibly creepy. Why are you, why are you jiggling? Ma'am, are you okay? All right, Thora. Oh, maybe because you're on the screen. Oh, you want them plorts. I just sold my plorts. Huh. It because it's special. I think Astro appears as red on my screen and then also red and then also reddish. So, okay, that that's consistent at least. I blame Twitch. I blame the Twitch overlords because I can hold them accountable. Love it. And maybe if you switched from the phone to the computer. Do I know? Do we uh, cryptid? Ah, cryptids. We're talking about cryptids right now. It's time to consume. Consumption happens. Red pretty much everywhere? Probably. I think there is a setting somewhere to be able to set like what your preferred color is. Methinks. However, I really don't remember. I'm not so sure. You know, funny thing about that consume channel point thing. I used to have a limit on that of five minutes. Every once in a while, we get a little jiggy on this show. And by jiggy, I mean a couple of alcoholic beverages and whatnot. And to force somebody to drink those is... No, no, that's not again. That's not good. Because I drink that at my own pace. However, I realized... Why should I restrict the people? If things get too crazy, too hectic, I'll just drink water. There's always water over here. And so now... I, re I released that restriction. I released that right before the stream started, actually. I'm very happy with that. Now, there is the opportunity to be spammed with consumption. Because you can never have enough water. Maybe. Maybe I can have enough water. I don't know. There are people who might come back here to be very... To, might be very excited by that, so... Shh. That's a little secret. Don't tell anybody about that. We'll let them figure it out on their own. <laughs> Consume is incredibly vague. It's time to consume again. I love it. If I drink too much water, I can drown. This is true. This is very, very true. I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to do that. <laughs> I'm sure it would take a really long time as well. Yeah. I'd have to drink, like, a lot of water. I'm the kind of person where if I am incredibly thirsty, I will chug, like, this entire water bottle. One of my... One of my tricks my own personal tricks for hangover cures is this is this is what i do right before i go to bed i chug an entire bottle of water and then if i wake up in the middle of the night i will chug another entire bottle of water and that works surprisingly well but you know other things like making sure you actually get your rest dash boots dash boots dash boots dash boots well thank you for telling me about the dash, dash, dash boots very wonderful Let's see, I need a coop now. There we go. Now I got some coop. But in addition to that, just making sure you got some... Don't drink too much. Know your limits. Eat some food. Shitty bar food doesn't mean... is. I mean, it, it, it's gonna help. It's gonna help. It's gonna help. If the bar has peanuts, and you're not allergic to peanuts, snag them peanuts. Just go, go for it. Love it. Apparently, in order to drown... As Bing says, could Google weird sometimes. You need to drink an entire gallon of water in two minutes. Interesting. Hmm. Now I actually I actually have to wonder, does that actually drown you? As in like your like your lungs fill up with water or whatever? Or does your you body can drown in two inches of Holy water shit. Of Hi Anna. Anna, would you like to repeat that for the crowd? You scared the heck out of me. You what did you say? Okay. If you waterboard yourself, you can drown in two inches of water. Information from the the ex lifeguard. Don't call me the ex -lifeguard. You're an ex lifeguard. Actually, you're not. You have a you have the little party thing you're doing in a couple weeks, right? Well, technically, I'm no longer certified. I still know everything. Technically, I no longer to, certified. I she's a secret know. lifeguard because we don't tell people she's not certified. Secret I lifeguard. Tell everyone I'm not certified at this point. That's why I have to quit my job. <laughs> to this day, never had a hangover, no matter how much that you drink. You're a I'm lucky man, Astro. You're very proud of you. No, okay, good idea. I'll try to be quiet a little bit more. I don't know how much longer I'll be on here. This was intended to be like a little smaller stream today. It's finals week. I want to make sure that Anna gets the nice rest she does. 
I'm a little loud. If, if you haven't, if you couldn't tell already, I've, I've got a voice, unfortunately. It, and, and I don't mean that in a pretentious way. I just mean like, I get, I get loud sometimes, and I very much do. I have a powerful diaphragm, according to the doctors, and I'm happy with that. But I don't want to, you know, it, it's a little loud sometimes, so I want to make sure that everyone can get their sleeps when they needs them. Although, the past couple of days has not been very pleasant. I wasn't the one making the noise. I don't know. I worry for my neighbor, and this is why I worry for my neighbor. They have had their dryer on for almost 24 hours straight. I can only imagine how much their electric bill must be. I mean, to the point of annoyance, it's it's a low rumbling sound, a low rumbling and tumbling. And when you go to sleep at one o'clock in the morning to the sounds of your neighbor's dryer, wake up at 5 a.m. to the sound of your neighbor's dryer, go back to sleep to the sound of your neighbor's dryer, and then wake up in the morning at 10 a.m. To the sound of your neighbor's dryer then you go to work and hang out with your buddies and then come back four hours later it is now four o'clock in the afternoon and you still hear the sound of your neighbor's dryer i worry for them i worry for their pockets i worry for their wallets i also worry for the day where i'm going to probably passive aggressively leave a note on the mirror in the lobby being like hey to the person who's got their dryer going literally all the time I feel sorry for your electric bill. Like, incredible. This is, this is terrible. Fact absolutely true. Ab super interesting it is for a person to drown from that much water. Anime pro tag levels of loud? I can get really loud if I wanted to. However, I try to restrain myself. <laughs> I do like using this voice, though. Astro apparently tried to get a hangover with eight double shots of vodka the other day and woke up completely fine. My goodness. I wonder if your brain just works differently from the rest of ours. And like four beers too. That's incredible. Top 10 unusual realistic superpowers. If I had, if I had a really interesting superpower, like a really annoying superpower, I would most definitely have the, like, telekinesis I think would be really, really cool. Like that would be my, my awesome superpower. But like, very weak telekinesis and this is what i would use that weak telekinesis for i would use it to nudge cars like nudge one car a little bit farther forward and we'll nudge another car a little bit farther backwards so that i have enough space to parallel park that's what i would use my superpower for i would either take very very large objects and move them very small distances or i would take very very small objects and fling them like a dust bunny and like fling, right across the room I'd do that. I would do that. And I gotta wonder if they were actually... On the note of, like, the... the, the um, what is it? The dryer thing, too. I don't think they had laundry. If, if it was going constantly, I don't know how they'd be putting more laundry in there. I think they just straight up forgot about it. Ugh. I'm, I'm happy to know that we've also got witnesses in the crowd that can confirm my uh, my loudness. Also, by the way, I'd like to just personally apologize. Usually, I am a lot quicker responding to chat stuff. But I'm very, very out of it. So, I am going like, I am losing focus on the game and moving around. And then losing focus and looking back over here. And then going back over here. It's been a very tiring day. It was all that sushi. My body's trying to process all that raw fish. It's great. But what if the dryer is like, what if it's murder? Like, you put the body in the dryer. Well, then we'd hear clunking. I haven't heard any clunking. Fingers are, your fingers are double jointed too? So you can make them look like raptor claws. Is that a superpower? What can I do with my fingers? G gang, gang signs. That's all I can do with my fingers. I can, I can crack my fingers. I can click them. I can click various parts of my body. I can crack a lot of my bones. Oh, also, too, another superpower that would be very, very wonderfully devious is the power to make people's phone vibrate. And then when they check it, they don't have a call. That would be a wonderfully devious power. I would not use it for good. I would use it for the days when there's a person in the back of the line and he's getting all... Or the person who's um, getting mad at the cashier at the Panera. And I use my superpower. I'm like, superpower, activate, phone vibrate. And they're in the middle of their rant and they're just like, rap, 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 like, oh. My phone. Nope. No call. Anyway, back to my rant. And then I make it vibrate again. And then visibly watch them get more annoyed. Because why you gotta be so mean to the Panera cashier? 
Don't ask me why I'm so specific on that. You know what? Do ask me why. It's because there was a man like that the other day at the Panera Bread. I was hanging out with my fam. And he was very annoyed. He was very annoyed that he had he was charged for a salad that he didn't eat. And so it was like, I need to speak to your manager. But we were a big, big family. Big family eating a... Whoa, hi there, you. Hey, buddy. You're a... You're beefy. What's up, Roostro? Yeah, what's up? Roostro. Nice. Oh, it's great stuff. But the timer should end on the dryer. I thought there was a try. I, I would think there's a timer on the dryer, but nope. Apparently not. Gotta turn it like every hour. I hope not. Driving all over the place sounds incredibly tiresome. Total mood. And I need a Panera because Panera is... Uh, my, my brother, my youngest brother, it was his birthday. And he really likes eating at Panera. He just likes, likes the stuff there. I think it's pretty good. Pretty good. They got nice sandwiches. They got nice bread. Bread is delicious. I, I never underestimate a nice bread. Love that. Would want to mind reading, but oddly, instead of like normal reading, can't actually read their minds, but they're rather tough. Oh my gosh. Yes. I am one of those people. I, I'm, I, I'm sorry. I'm one of the people who have, I have that inner narrator in my mind. When I read a book, I can hear it in my head. I am also the kind of person as well who, I guess beyond that, I can picture things in what I would consider my mind's eye. Like, I can picture things in front of me. And it becomes very, very helpful with academic stuff because, like, if I need to, if I need to, like, imagine myself solving a math problem on paper, I can imagine it in my head. And it's awesome. Also, I love, by the way, that we're having, like, a nice little discu discussion. We we're definitely got people on different sides of the Panera argument. I don't go out of my way for, for Panera, but I do enjoy their food. If somebody's going to say, hey, want to go to Panera Bread with me? As in, they were already going to Panera Bread and they're offering me to come along. I wouldn't say no. I definitely wouldn't. Now, if somebody were to say, yo, we're on our way to McDonald's. You want to come with us? I'd probably be like, no, nah, not really. But if you can get me a smoothie, that'd be pretty cool. Although I do eat McDonald's too. I'm not a very picky person. If the food tastes good in some way, I'm down with it. I think Panera's kind of got that air about it where it's a little, uh... I don't know if the term is correct. However, the term basic comes to mind, and Panera seems very basic. But despite the fact that it is incredibly basic in that regard, I got another achievement. Free ranging. Awesome. Slimes go yeet. Bye, Slimes. Love it. <laughs> Stuttering with the lies. What being are you to say that Panera is not badass? Well, perhaps we can agree on this. Some would say Panera is badass. However, some would say that Panera is bad ass. So in some regard, yes, but also no. Can I have my plorts, please? Get out of here. Can I, can I have me plorts? Boop. There we go. I want my plorts. Give me my plorts today. And my slimes, apparently. Ugh. If somebody want to come to McDonald's, you're going for that orange high C. Oh, yes. I love that high C. It's so good. What I used to do when I would go to um, McDonald's and whatnot, there used to be a McDonald's in the Walmart in my parents' house, and I would always mix and match the sodas together. And that maybe that's why I like doing mixological stuff nowadays. Like, I've always been into mixing things together. Ever since a very, very young age, I would. I would. And to all those out there, in addition to Dream Flutist, who perhaps can't eat Panera Bread, that's okay. You're not missing out. I don't think that your life would be changed the day that you bit into a Panera Bread sandwich or anything like that. You'd probably be like, well, it's a sandwich. It's bread. It certainly ain't no whole wheat, multi-grain bread with a slap of cheddar on it. That's not my Panera Bread. That's just my regular bread. All right, you know what I'm gonna try to do? I, I'm gonna give myself a goal. I'm going to try to accomplish this. Big ol' rock, actually, I haven't found any rock hens yet, so that might be a little difficult. What are y'all doing around here? There's so many plants around here. Jesus, Jesus, my goodness. Everyone, we've got an idea, and so we will read the idea from Garlic Bread. 
So based upon usernames, it'd be very interesting if you came with, with beings. EX, you're a creature of bread. All types, you put soggy white bread in the homes of your enemies. Additional info, slowly put crumbs in someone's house until they succumb to the crumbs of justice. We are all superheroes now. Every once in a while, we've got some interesting story meta going along in this chat. We've been nobles in a kingdom before, and now we are all soggy bread lords. Or, or perhaps, or perhaps just garlic. Just garlic bread is the soggy bread lord. Although, I'd be happy to be a soggy bread lord. Or perhaps not the soggy bread lord, but perhaps a soggy bread noble. I'm going back to this noble thing again. Hi there, pal. Hey, how you doing? Pink slime. I raise you another pink slime. And all these plurts. Let's see, if you could have the ability to go all soggy bread. Hello, Foster. Eat that. Eat it. Thank you. Give me your goo. Thank you. I would have the ability... You know what? I would have the ability to change any bread that you were eating into pumpernickel. A any of it. Like, at a moment's notice. All of a sudden, you'd be putting the sandwich in your mouth, and right before you take the bite, boom. Pumpernickel. And for no other reason... Aside then, I think Pumpernickel is an incredibly funny name for bread. Plus, I also enjoy Pumpernickel as well. I, I'm, a, I'm a fan of Pumpernickel. It's the dark bread. I always like the dark breads, because I look at that and I'm like, Pumpernickel almost looks as if it's burnt, and I like things that are burnt. I'll admit that. Oh, I still got a cube fruit over here. Okay. Oh, do we got... Oh, do we have tar? I hear tar. We may all be bread creatures. We... Bleh. Creatures of justice with the power of bread. The power of bread compels you. Eat this. Eat it. Eat it. Pumpernickel. Does it taste like pumpkins? No. It's kind of. It got a little bit of a spice to it. I think. It's a. Uh, it's um. It's one of those breads that uh. There, there's a lot. I feel like there are people on both sides of the bread argument for pumpernickel. There are people who are like, oh yeah, pumpernickel, and some people have been like, Ugh, pumpernickel. Ugh. However, pumpkin bread, I believe, tastes like pumpkin. Although, that's, you know, I, I wouldn't know, but... Just kidding, I've eaten pumpkin bread before. Anna makes amazing pumpkin bread muffins. They're so delicious, with, like, chocolate chips in it. Ooh, girl! That is tasty. That is very tasty. Oh, you ate my thing. Oh, you're pretty much Korg from T Thor, but feel like it would be more of a red color rock, but with the ability to talk to other rocks and hear about their history. Nice. I wonder, do you think that the gemstones would have better stories than, like, slate or granite? Or perhaps granite, like, you know, you know what I'm thinking of? I'm thinking of Steven Universe now. Like, if the rocks had personalities, like, that's basically Steven Universe. I love that show. I very much enjoyed that show. Spicy bread, absolute epicness. I think it'd be great. I'd be great to... It's one of those power that you're just, like... Actually, you know what that reminds me of? That reminds me of an anime that Anna and I just watched the other day. It's called... Oh god, what's it called? It's just a name. The anime's name is just a name. Charlotte. It's called Charlotte. The anime's name is Charlotte. And in the universe of Charlotte, people, like, when you when you get into, like, like, after you hit puberty, you get, like, a power. And some kids' powers are a lot more OP than others. And some of them are just completely half-assed powers. So one of them being super speed, but you can't stop yourself until you hit a wall. One of them is invisibility, but you are only invisible to one person at a time. Um, one of them, well, our main character has the ability to take over somebody's body, but only for five seconds. And as they take over the body, his actual body just goes completely limp for like five seconds. And he's completely, he just flops to the ground. It's a great show. Would highly recommend Charlotte. It ends too soon, though. It could, it definitely could have been a whole hell of a lot. There could have been more there, and it just, it just wasn't. <laughs> Some people have not eaten pumpernickel before. That's okay. I wouldn't want to eat a nickel made of pumpkins either. Dream Flutist username is a direct reference to the video game character. To a video game character, so you just become that character. Nice. I think I would be exactly who I am, except my birth name would now include an actual X in it. So, so my, my character would be exactly who I am now, except the driver's license actually has an X on it. <laughs> the rocks in the water would have better stories than the rocks in the land, because they've been like, they've been like, I don't know, upgraded by erosion. Or like tumbled rocks? 
Actually, what if tumbled rocks are like, like incredibly traumatized because in a rock, like in the rock tumbler and whatnot, they they've just been experienced the turmoil of sanding and bumping against other other rock things, rock beings the entire time. I don't know. I feel like I feel like that's totally workshoppable. <laughs> my, my Hero Academia, but Craigslist feels like that. Feels like that. It's like it's like quirks, but it's a lot less than that. And there's no like like I guess one of the differences there is like in the in the My Hero Academia universe, like people with quirks are like that. That's a thing. People know about that. In this universe, only the kids who have the powers like know about the powers. They don't really, and they lose it upon getting to adulthood as well, supposedly. That's kind of the premise of this one. The idea, I think, one of the things they bring up in the show is like, you want to use your power for good. But before you lose it, because you got to use it or you'll lose it eventually one day. It was an interesting one. It was one of those things that, like, the reason we found it, too, was because we saw the show Charlotte. And we were like, oh, I wonder what this is about. Maybe it's about a girl named Charlotte. Maybe it's about, like, a drama type thing. No. Completely different. It's about kids with superpowers. Half-assed superpowers. And we were like, wow, didn't see that coming. Also... They never, only until the very end, do they make it explicitly clear why the game, why, why the, why the, why the anime is called Charlotte. I mean, I won't spoil it or anything like that. When you hear it, you're just like, oh, okay, yeah, that makes sense. Like, it doesn't really affect things or anything. I mean, it's, it's kind of, you know what, it kind of is important, so I won't, I won't mention it. In a world of quirky, quirky quirks. Quirky quirks. It'd be cool to have superpowers. It'd be pretty cool. Although, I can only understand. I've watched way too many shows now. To completely, all these superhero stuff has completely spoiled things for me. Like, I think, I used to think to myself, it'd be cool if the world had superpowers. And then, like, shows like Invincible and The Boys and My Hero Academia and all the other stuff that is superpowery comes out and all the Marvel stuff too. And I'm just like, the world would be incredibly messed up if we all had superpowers. According to modern media, at least, that is what I'm so led to believe. However, this would be pretty cool, though. Because, like, superheroes, but also super villains. God, I, lo I love stuff like that. I love imagining what kind of, like, powers I would have. Because, like, essentially, that's what I do in D&D &D anyway. I, Im I imagine a character with my for myself, and I... I give him a nice, I give him a nice backstory, describe the way he looks, and then I eventually pick spells or supernatural abilities that they get from their magical weapons. I do that anyway, and I think it's great. I'm gonna keep my pogo fruit. I'm gonna go back here and make some cubes. Give me my cube. Give me my cube fruit. Cube berry. It's true indeed in the world like that that people are not equal. Not everybody is equal. Especially in those worlds. Because the people with the superpowers uh, get the thing. Is there a way for me to reset? The oh, there we go. Yeah, there's the reset button. Activate. Wanna move these crops. Yeah, I'm a new crop. Crop. Cube berry. And the tree is a cube. I told myself I wasn't going to play Minecraft tonight. And yet, it f the cubes follow me nonetheless. The cubes will always follow. They will follow me, follow me everywhere. Alright, I'm gonna go on one more run out into the fields to see if I can find some more slimes. I wanna bring some... I mean, I wanna bring tabbies. You know what, actually, before I do that, I should put, like, a roof on these things so they don't escape. Uh, high wall air net is better for the cover the top of the corral. I can take a few hits before needing to recharge, so I should get some high walls so they don't bounce out. Give me that air nets that'd be nice for you guys i'll try to do the same thing over here let me get some high walls as well so y'all don't bop around and then i'll go on one more run out there and that's where i'll probably call for tonight get myself some nice get myself some nice rest and then i'll return on friday as i as i normally do sometime on friday maybe the morning uh actually probably the morning maybe the morning oh yeah most definitely the morning most definitely the morning of friday garlic bread never played D. &D. Oh, garlic bread. I could talk to D&D. &D so I love playing D&D &D so much. 
pretty it's pretty easy to get into if you if you ever if you ever wanted to that could be pretty pretty fun i would definitely recommend it what's my uh uh, uh, uh ara arakras i can't pronounce that very well <laughs> but uh the bird the bird ones those are pretty cool i think i really enjoy there's a character i'm playing right now who is a gilman and he's a, he's a fish boy he's a fish boy and i love fish boy love fish boy like the creators that give the massive amounts of xp oh for sure i don't even play dnd with the xp rules it's just like once you pass a certain threshold you get to level up or high level characters but garlic bread's gotta go as well that is totally okay garlic bread thank you so much for popping in i appreciate your presence and i hope to see you again sometime and that whatever time zone that you're in whether it's a whether it's the evening for you or the daytime or whatever i hope it is wonderful for you I hope it is wonderful for you. I assure you, the next time we meet, it will be a lot louder and a lot more energetic. If that's what you're into. And if that's not what you're into, then I might be able to compromise. It's so interesting. Like we were mentioning we were mentioning before that like some people could just have off days. Like there are times where I could go hours. Hours just talking to myself. And to the lovelies, of course, the other fellow party goers. <laughs> and then just today, I'm just like, oh my god. I was also so disheartened too because I was having so much trouble getting the stream actually up and running. I had I had tried three times before I was like, you know what? Let me try one more thing, and if that doesn't work, I guess I'm just not gonna have it tonight. But I'm so glad it worked. I'm so glad. Au revoir. Nice to see y'all. Tune in next time for another episode of Soggy Bread Lord. And his compatriots. Um Rock Speaker. Rock Rock Lad. Rock Lad with the power to talk to rocks. Followed by our other characters. The Dream Flutist. After the video game character. And this guy who has an X in his name. Tune in next time. I got your stony hens. Oh, I got your stony hens. Stony hen. There's your stony hen. And uh let me see. Tabby slime, you eat meat. Oh, you eat meat. I don't have meat for you. Pulse wave, new upgrade. Adds a pulse wave emitter to my backpack. Where do I get these upgrades? Is it over here? Maybe. What is this? Yo. Oh, it's the slimepedia. Oh, hoo 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 hoo. Alrighty then. Let's. All right. Let's let's take care of y'all. Let's take care of them. Let's take care of y'all. Come over here. I I gotta. Bye bye, buddy. I'm. Um, yeah. Goodbye. I need to. I need to trim the farm a little bit. I gotta trim the farm. Here. Come. Come here, you. Nope. Come here. Yep. Come. Nope. Please. Please don't hurt me. Oh my God. Please don't. I know you don't want to be sent over the edge. However. This is your fate. This is your fate. So has been decided by your rancher, by your local rancher. Okay, give me. Yep. I'm gonna replace you with the tabby slimes. I'm gonna put tabby slimes in this one. So we have more blue. More blue and less pink. There's a lot of pink around here. Oh, they're, I'm sorry. They're not blue. The rock slimes are blue. <laughs> tabby slimes are gray. I like gray. Gray's a nice color. Doesn't have to be as exuberant as other ones, but it's still a nice, lovely color nonetheless. I'll pick up all these... Oh, I got the plorts. I got the plorts. I'm gonna sell those plorts. Selling my plorts on farm. They are pink. That is all. I don't know why that song keeps on popping into my head. It, I, I feel like I think of that song at least once or twice a week. Depending on what it is that I'm doing. It's just got such a catchy tune to it. You can put like anything to that to that melody line. It's just it's so catchy. It gets stuck in my head. All right, tabby slime, tabby 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 slime. We got tabby slimes for you. How many more minutes do I have on this thing? Yes, I will complete this. No, I have a. I'm not gonna be able to do that in a minute. Ah. I was gonna be able to do that okay i will check my mail i will check my mail and then that will be it how do i check my mail how do i how do i mail check do i go inside star mail there we go hey look 
is Beatrix. Hi, Beatrix. There's DLC. Is there actually DLC? What? My va- Oh, these are like- Oh, they're cosmetic packs. Okay, I was gonna say like, did they add DLC to this and I didn't know about it? Nice. Star Mail. Welcome to the Ranch Exchange, Thor West. Hi there, Beatrix. My name's Thor West. I'll keep my introduction short on account that we all got work to do. I'm a longtime rancher here on the Far Far Ranch and head of the welcome wagon for your local ranch Rage Exchange. The Rage Exchange is a network of ranchers just like yourself who are looking to trade what they got for what they need. Slimes, plorts, food, whatever. All you need to do is check out the Range, range Exchange machine daily. Be sure to get your trade completed within 24 hours. I was not given 24 hours for that one. Or maybe I was, in game time. As more ranchers get added to your network, you should receive a hearty hello from them, so check your inbox. Well enough, John, we've got slimes to wrangle. Adios, Beatrix. Rise and shine, Casey, hi B. What's it like with the sleep for what's it like to sleep for a whole year? Did you dream? I can't ima imagine what it's like. Seven Z puts you in a pod and then lights out for all that time. Wow. What's the far far range range like? Have you tried started exploring? Is the air as clear as they say? I bet it's very beautiful. I'm probably asking too many questions. I bet you have a lot of work to do on that ranch. I still can't believe it's yours now. I guess I better leave you to it and just cut it short. Good luck, B. If anyone can make it out there, it's you. Welcome to the Far Far Ranch. Miss LeBeau, the Seven Sea Corporation would like to welcome you to the Far Far Range. Welcome and extend our support in your bold new adventure as a slime rancher. Support extended. We'd also like to request that you exercise caution in your first few days on the range until you get more familiar with your surroundings. Traveling at night is not advisable, but I've done it anyway. Lastly, should you require any additional tools for your backpack or items to make your slime ranching experience easier, the 7Z Corporation will be pleased to provide them to you from the shop located just outside your ranch house. The 7Z Corporation, providing the tools you need, get the, get the job done for us for a small fee. Nice. Straight into the point. <laughs> Asher Rock's anti-hero name would definitely be Alkaline. I like that. It's got a nice... It rolls off the tongue. That's one of those names that really do roll off the tongue. Hey, hey, you, you shouldn't. Nope, don't fight. Don't fight, just eat. Don't fight, large one. Just accept the yeetage. Goodbye. I like that. You know, I like that very much. Oh, I got another one over here. Let me just trim you up so you're not in my, you're not eating up all my, my goods. All my goods. Oh, come here, you. Where'd you get? Where'd you? Where did you go? Oh my god. Where'd you go? Oh, I have new mail. Great. More mail. <laughs> now Astro's got to draw it. Nice. I love to do drawing as well. I don't usually draw things. I, I like it's it's few and far between when I actually take a moment. I used to doodle a lot in like high school, and now. I, I, I take the time to draw. Like, if I'm gonna draw, I'll take, like, a couple hours and do something nice with it. I think one of the last things that I drew, uh, aside from that one Hat in Time drawing stream I did, and I drew a flower one time. It was pretty cute. Well, it didn't start as a flower. It became a flower. Excuse me. But I had also drawn my uh, my Gilman character, my, my fish man, my Fishman D&D &D character. And uh, he's, he's, got, he's got the teeth. He's like, I don't like you. He's got that sneer because he's an evil character too. So I had to not make him look very nice. Bye, slimes. Wow, look at all you out there. Yep. I have a feeling that is exactly why this water is here. <laughs> do I got a Discord? I do have a Discord. I do. I don't have. Well, let's see. I don't have a Discord server. But if I had, if you ask him, like, do I have like a Discord account? I do. I don't have a Discord server, unfortunately. I never had a reason to make- somebody asked me about that like a couple months ago and like you should make a discord server I'm like I don't know if I would need it But if there's a large enough request for it I will absolutely create one And we can all chat and have a wonderful time and share our creativeness together That sounds like a thing to do That's what people do right? That's what people in communities do They get together and they have a good time with each other Yeah 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 Give me that pogo fruit Oh no pogo fruit then I'll add that to the list of possible improvements and whatnot. I plan to make a couple improvements over the next couple days now that I actually have the time to do so. That may be one of those improvements. I like that idea. I think it's a really good idea. <laughs> want me to make you one? I don't know. If you want, yeah, if you want, if you want to, you are more than welcome to. I feel like I should make it, but yeah, you know what? I'm, I'm totally, I'm totally indifferent. 
I'm, to I'm totally good. Yeah, I'm not indifferent. I was gonna say I'm indifferent. That sounds like I don't care. I do care, and I appreciate that. Yeah, yeah, that would be cool. I like that idea. If you wouldn't mind, I don't want to impose, of course. That'd be real cool. And I'll add that, and we'll all be friends together. We'll all be friends. Yes, let's all be friends together. That'll be great. That will be great. You know what? How about how about this? I'm gonna kind of I'm gonna kind of wrap things up from here. But if you if you want to for now, I, I'd like to continue. I'd like to continue the conversation because I'm very interested upon this. So what I'll do what I'll do in a little bit is I'm gonna if you don't mind, of course, Astra, I'll send you a friend request on Twitch, and then we can chat things out of, about that. I'm gonna plan things. I'm gonna plan things. If that's cool with you, of course. If not, feel free. Feel free to let me know. But I think I'm at, I'm incredibly incredibly tired now. It is time for me to go to bed. So uh, that's what I that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to head off to the beds. Rather short one. I hope the short time wasn't too bad compared to like <laughs> the 12 hour streams I've done before. But uh, I had a really really nice time. Very very nice time. Very very good day. It it started off really really great. Got really really odd. And then got really really great again. And I'm happy to say that the night will end well for me. So I'll do that. I like that. That's what I'm gonna do. Alrighty then. Let's do that. I like that. Alright. So to everybody hanging around and home, wherever you may be, I want to thank you all for coming along on the ride for me. I will be my spry self again on Friday when I have more sleep, more water, and probably more food. More more sandwiches in my life. I need more sandwiches in my life. In the meantime, I'm going to pass the love on to my pal, Neko, who is playing some Soul Worker right now. It is very, very late. She's been streaming for a while now. Go, Neko, go. That's what we're going to do. So to everybody hanging along, I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your night. If it's the night over there, run up for the rest of your morning. If you're watching from the morning time zone, the afternoon, the evening, the dawn, the twilight, I think it'll be wonderful. In any case, so long, everybody. Down for the Raiders, and uh, and thank you by the way again, uh, Astro Rock for uh, we'll, we'll chat with that. You'll be hearing from me. My people, my people will talk to your people. Go forth, my Raiders. Peace out until then. And to everybody following along at home again, I'll keep things short. Love y'all. Have a wonderful rest of whatever. Peace out, y'all. <laughs>